Hi, I'm Craig Serio, Senior Engineering Manager with Briggs & Stratton, and I want to discuss some best practices when it comes to starting your pressure washer equipped with the Briggs & Stratton CR950 engine. Before getting ready to use your pressure washer, make sure you have followed the instructions within the operator's manual. Once the unit is fully assembled, oil level checked, and gas has been added, turn the ignition switch to the on position. After this, you will need to adjust the choke. You might be wondering or asking why the choke is important or why it's necessary. The choke allows for more fuel to enter the engine, allowing for an easier start. So how do you adjust the choke? There are two levers on the engine. One is the choke and the other is the fuel valve. Out of the box, both levers will be all the way to the right or open. Before attempting to start your pressure washer, make sure that the choke lever is pushed all the way to the left hand side or closed. The fuel valve will remain on the right hand side or open. Once done, go ahead and start the engine. Once the engine starts, slide the choke to the right or open position. If after two pulls the engine does not start or starts quickly but stops, move the choke lever all the way to the right or the open position and after making sure the gun is pointed in a safe position, pull the trigger on the gun to relieve any built up pressure and give the cord a pull and your pressure washer should now start. If you stop the pressure washer for refueling or to simply take a break, you may need to put the choke back into the closed position or to the left and pull the cord once more. Then move the choke to the open position or to the right and pull the cord again. Your pressure washer should now start.